In New York City, Madame Alain also spoke of the manuscripts of her brother Jean and the four editions of his organ music. We have in the family, and we still have them, many manuscripts, and some of them indicating many differences in the composition. It's why you find several editions that seem sometimes contradictory. First of all, when he was still alive in 1938, he paid a visit to the printer Alphonse Le Duc, and uh, the three pieces were published in 1939, the variations on the theme by Clément Jamquin, the Jardin Suspendu, and the Litanies. <coughs> These were the only pieces published by Le Duc in that time. Then, when he left for the war, he had to go. And he left his wife a pile of manuscript, very carefully copied, saying, this is, these are the most important works I have written, so if I disappear, use those manuscripts. And the first edition was worked by my father, Albert, after Jean's death, thanks to several friends of Jean who helped us very much especially finding paper to print in during the war, because it was impossible to find any paper, to find any ink, to, well, it was a miracle if that edition was uh, worked out. When I listened to people playing out of that first edition, there were many things I was shocked about. I thought, that doesn't correspond to my memories. There should be something different there. I didn't dare to change. I get was giving advices to my students, but well, that was a problem. Anyhow, we discovered my father, my brother, Olivier, my second brother, and myself, that that first edition, of course, was as faithful as possible to the copies by Jean Alain, but that Jean Alain has forgotten many accidentals, many ties that has written some notes uh, that, that were not uh, tried. There were still mistakes, you know, and the composer not being there to revise the works. The mistakes came from that edition. We tried, my brother Olivier and myself, to correct a few of those mistakes. There was a new edition, that first edition is from 1943. In 1952, I was still pretty young, but my brother Olivier was eight years older than I. He was also a very fine musician, has played all these works with his brother, and we corrected a certain number of accidentals, and we also indicated a few changes of tempo, because Joanna didn't care about writing acoustic marks uh, I was told by a friend of his, Pierre Segon, the organist of the Cathedral of Geneva, who was a schoolmate at the class of Marcel Dupré, and with the dedicatory of the Jeanne variations, that he said to Jean, but Jean, why don't you write what you want here? There is no indication for Valentino or Silvando. And Jean said, oh, I don't care. If people are, mu are musical, they will find it. <laughs> that was a problem with it. If him. Well, that was for the second edition, that was uh, 52, only for volume 1 and 2, uh, no, 2 and 3, sorry. Then, teaching and teaching again, I wrote an article of advices for playing Jean-Alain's music, according to my, always according to my memories. And uh, that was published at first by the Italian Review Logano, care of my friend Tagliavini, and translated and published in the American Organist in the late 50s, the early 60s. This gave me the idea of a practical edition in order to, that people could discover that Jean Alain was not only the author of the litanies, but certain pieces which were never played, like the intermezzo, 
because the left hand was written in C clef, or some other pieces uh, <coughs> like the Fantasies, have not yet been discovered. So we were in the 60s. The organs were not at all what they have been during Joanna's life. And uh, unfortunately, I have given some indications, big brackets for the registration, that were according to the organs of that time. But this was not very well received. Also, I don't regret it because from that time on, many young people have begun playing the whole Joanna work and not only a few pieces. But in that time, we had no, not user, we were not used to writing, not critic, and I should have written critical notes because I have sources for what I have written in that third edition. That one was called the edition of 1973, I think, 71. Then Madeleine, Joanna's wife, died, and I was in charge of looking into the pieces of music that had remained in her house. And I was just amazed discovering the first sketches of other pieces. So this is the reason for this. I couldn't release a new edition without telling the people, no, I have many sources. For some papers, I have until seven sources. So this is the list of the sources, and up to you to choose. It's why the big book, 150 pages, is on all the differences that you can find in all the manuscripts. <laughs>